Link to the code is in the description. You want to start off by preparing or finding some assets to use for the map slash scene. To demonstrate I prepared these two. One is for the hut interior and the other is the map for the area. In order to get custom buttons I copied some parts of the map one and added a drop shadow for the outline. If you're using Photoshop you can export layers to files. Make sure to not trim the layers. This will save time later. Open Unity, add a canvas and a child game object that will hold all the images for the map. Make sure that in Rec Transform you hold Alt and stretch it to full size. If you exported the small parts without trimming, you won't need to adjust them now and everything will look like it did in your painting software. Now to turn the points of interest into buttons. First, add a button component, then go into your imported asset and make sure that the mesh type is changed to full rect and read write is enabled. The full rect mesh type is slower than tight but I've had issues using the tight mode. Last thing is to add a custom script with this one line onto every game object that is to be oddly shaped button. Going back to the button component, let's add an animation that will make the button larger. Change the transition type to animation and click generate. Go to animation and select highlighted and record your animation. I want to scale the button up. To make sure it scales properly, adjust the anchor in its inspector. If you adjust all the other anchor points, you can use the same animator for all the other buttons. To add the ability to switch between scenes, when I say scenes, I do not refer to the Unity scenes, just a scene as in scenery slash image. Anyway, create a game object and attach a custom script to it that will handle the fade in and out of transition between two scenes. This is done by changing the alpha and the color attribute of a black image game object. Once the scene is fully black, we turn off the last scene and turn on the new one as well as update the current scene variable. Raycast target makes sure that the player can't click anything during the transition. All that's left is to add this method onto the button and this is the result. If you enjoyed watching this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and if you want to be notified once the new videos are out, consider subscribing. I'll be grateful to you. If you're more into gaming, check out my other channel. I post videos on it from time to time. But anyways, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.